What's up guys, Mason the Brock Henderson here, and this is Bones, Season 12, Episode 10, The Radioactive Panthers and the Party. God, what a stupid name. Um, and it's really kind of ironic, because you're looking at this this movie that they're making in, inside this episode, uh, and it's just, it's so stupid, and they're talking about, you know, don't, don't you just want to watch something and turn off your brain and just enjoy how stupid it is? She's like, no, I want to think. Don't you want to think? I'm just like, yeah, I want to. I wish I was watching a different show because of that. Oh, it was very, very ironic to see just see this movie that they're treating as this really dumb, oh, this is stupid, this is awful. And it's ironic because this entire last season has been god-awful. You know, it's been terrible writing, terrible stories, terrible just everything. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that, like I said in the last one, it feels like they're just bringing people in because, oh, let's, okay, let's bring back all these people that used to be a part of the show. You know, let's bring back uh, Gordon what, Gordon White last episode. Let's bring back Sully a few episodes ago. Let's bring back Betty, Betty White in this episode because, you know, she was a thing for, what was it, one episode? Yeah, I really want to know what she's doing now. And the thing is, you know, it it does kind of lead to an interesting story with her because she starts to talk to, to Brennan about the fact that she feels like her passion was just gone. You know, she woke up one morning and she's like, I don't want to do this anymore. And so Brennan the entire episode is thinking about, you know, what what about her passion? She was thinking about it. And so at the end of the episode, she heads home to Booth and she t starts talking to him about how she's been having these questions and how she's been wondering what should she do. And it, it doesn't really end on her making a decision. It ends on kind of a, a very ambiguous note, like, is she going to stay at the Jeffersonian or is she going to find something else? You know, is her passion for what she does gone? And it really builds up towards the end of the season, you know, how is this all going to end with her? Or at least that's how it should have ended. You know, that's that's clever writing. That's That's actually something that would make you feel something. That entire last ending was me making stuff up because honestly me coming up with stuff right now is actually probably better than how it actually ends which is she's talking to Wendell because this entire story that we thought was about her is actually about Wendell and the fact that he did, can't pick a topic on his dissertation she's like if I, somebody took my job away I couldn't breathe without this job so the fact that you can't think of one maybe that means that this isn't your topic of study. And so we find out that Wendell this entire time when him, him talking about his dissertation, Brennan focusing on, you know, is her passion gone? It's actually all about Wendell and the fact that he doesn't actually have a true passion for anthropology. He needs to find a different topic of study. So now he's gone from the Jeffersonian. Isn't that what you wanted to see? Isn't that what you wanted to see from this episode? Don't, didn't you want to see how Wendell's story ended? Nothing about Brennan, no no growth there. No, it was all about Wendell the entire time. God, how can you make fun of writers that are awful, of movie directors that are terrible, of all of this stuff with the stupid movie, and make such stupid decisions yourself? We are on the last three episodes of the last season of this show that should have an emotional ending. And instead of concerning yourself with how is this all going to end, what are our main characters going to do, all you're concerned about this entire season is how are the side character stories ending? How are the interns getting on now? How, what's going to happen to them? Some of them are leaving the job. Some of them are moving on. That's all you care about. You're bringing back these characters that some of them only had like a few episodes. Betty Davis had one episode. And you're concerning yourself with, oh, what's going on with them now? Where are they now? What does this all mean for them now? Who cares about Booth and Brennan? Who cares about Hodgins and Angela? No, no, let's focus on the side characters because that's what's important this entire last season. That's what's freaking important. Like, how, how can you make such stupid decisions? I, I'm truly blown away episode by episode, just how dumb these decisions are becoming. You feel like at some point they have to say, okay, we're on our last three episodes, let's have a three episode long story talking about how this all ends. Nope, nope, let's just keep talking about side characters, let's talk about Wendell now. Next episode we're probably going to talk about, I don't know, who's who's left. I think uh, Jessica's one of the ones left, I think the the weird guy that 
I don't know, always says inappropriate things is left. Um, Daisy, I think, is still left. So probably going to focus on one of those three, whichever one is you know more important. And we're going to focus on them. We're probably going to bring back somebody random from the past just to talk about them for a second. Because this show doesn't care. This show doesn't care about the main characters. It doesn't care about what we want to see as an audience. It's just like, let's just wrap up these stories. Let's focus on these side characters and all these people that we haven't seen for years and years and years. Let's bring them back for this one episode so we can be like, oh, look at this. You guys remember this? You guys remember when our show used to be good? This character will remind you of that. And that's pretty much what it does. It reminds me of how good the show used to be and how dumb it is now. And that's very upsetting in your final scenes. You should not want to remind us, oh, how good was our show? No, show us how good your show could be. Show us how good your show is now, but it's not. It's not good, it's awful, it's terrible, it's not getting better, it's just, it's going out on a very, very weak note. And I hate that, because I loved, I used to love this show. I used to really, it, it used to be, when I first started watching it, when I started picking it up from the first season, I still remember how it all got started. My grandmother got me the ninth season on DVD for my birthday, because she was like, this show's really good, and I watch, she, she watched it all the time. And so she wanted me to get into it. Well, ninth season, I'm like, okay, well, I gotta get caught up. So I started watching on Netflix. You know, I started going through just season by season. I binge watched the crap out of this show because it was just that good. It was in, it was interesting. The characters were engaging. There's a lot of really good stories going on. The stuff with the anthropology was actually exciting at the time. But as it started getting along, the anthropology stuff started getting old, and so it was like, okay, well. Now you gotta start telling good stories with the cases. They did that. You know, they started telling really good cases. Pallant was really good. The uh, the ghost woman was pretty good. But then that one ended kind of on a like eh. You know, like the the woman behind it was killed off. We didn't even get to see them solve that case. She was just randomly killed off. And so all of a sudden we find out about this gov government cover up. It's like ooh well that's interesting. And Booth ends up in jail. It's like ooh well that's interesting. And then he gets out, and Sweets is killed. You're like, okay, well, this is very interesting. But then they catch the guy in the very next episode, and that story is done. It's like, well, that was short-lived. You know, Sweets died last episode, and you just solved the case now? You know, I was hoping this was going to last a bit longer. I was hoping this was going to be some big government thing where they had to solve the entire thing, but okay, fine. And then that season ends with, you know, we, we go through the entire season. It ends on a plot related note. And so it's just like, okay, well, this is a good place to stop. But then they keep going last season. It's like, well, where's this going now? It goes nowhere. And then it ends on a Zach Addy note. I'm like, oh, this is a brilliant setup for the last season. They do one episode about Zach Addy and then have a couple others where it's just like talking about his case on the outside, you know, hardly focusing on it at all. And that's just all been, let's just talk about random stuff. Let's just talk about this random character that was forever ago. <sighs> I don't, I don't understand. I I know I keep saying this, I know I keep talking about how I don't understand how they can continue to make such poor decisions, but I'm truly blown away by how good this setup was for this episode. You know, like I said, that little ending that I spouted out right there, that would have been so much more interesting to see. Going into the last two episodes, she, go, she goes out, she ends this episode on a note of, does she still want to do this? You know, does she still want to continue? Because I don't know what they're going to do at the end of this season. You know, I don't know if she's going to continue to work at the Jeffersonian or something else is going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. So to end on a note where she actually is considering leaving her job, that's interesting. That's something that makes me want to come back and watch next week. But we see at the end of these episodes, she's just like, no, I can't do anything without this job. I can't breathe without this job. I, I want this job. That takes away all ambiguity, all possible interest in this. It takes it all away. She's just all gone now. She clearly wants this job. She's not leaving the Jeffersonian. The season is obviously going to end with her still in the job. You know, it's probably going to end on, uh, if I had to take a guess, they're probably going to end it on uh, Zach Addy returns to the Jeffersonian since all the interns look like they're on their way out. And it's going to be the old team is back or something like that. You know, oh, look, guys, it's the old team. Zach's back. And so now we got Zach and Hodgins and Angela and Brennan. I bet they'll even get Hodgins out of his wheelchair just so they can call back to the first season and be like, oh, look, guys, look at it. The team is back. And I'm just going to sit here and shake my head and be like, nope. Nope. You cannot try to win me over with that nostalgia because 
watching the show now pisses me off compared to the show back then. The only part of this episode that was actually enjoyable was the fact that Aubrey got to have lead on this case. And I've said this before, Aubrey is pretty much my favorite character on the show right now because he's the only one with any real character. That being said, they did kind of ruin his story with his father. You know, like, that was one of the interesting things about him. And the fact that it ended on such an easy note in that episode really pissed me off. And so I hadn't really been focusing on him as much. But this one got a lot more focus. He got the lead on the case. Booth, the entire case, was, like, feeding him this false information. You know, like, trying to get him to do something he shouldn't do. Just to, just so Aubrey could make the right decision. And... I don't know, I kind of respected that, and I liked what they did with it, although ultimately it ends with he gets promoted to the L.A. office or something like that, so that means his story with the FBI is now done, you know, so at the same time, while I did appreciate his story, it still ends on a, oh, just like with the rest of our characters, guys, we got to have them move on. I'm just like, mm. See, I don't want that. I, I don't want Aubrey to leave the show. I think he's probably the best thing about the show right now. So why would you kick him off the show? But anyway, long story short, this episode had the potential to be a really good episode, but ultimately succumbed to the feeling of this last season, which is we got to put more focus on the side characters and making sure that they're wrapping up their story and they have a successful and satisfying end. But you, you lose the story of the main characters. You lose the story of what this show is about. It's not about the interns. It's not about the sidekicks, you know, the, the Betty Davises and the Sullys and the Gordon Wyatt. It's not about them. It's about Booth and Brennan. You know, this is, even though Angela and Hodgins have a lot of story, Cam has a lot of story, Aubrey has a lot of story as well, the main thing about the show is Booth and Brennan, and they have not moved from the beginning of this season. After what happened with Zach, I was expecting their story to get going and start talking about this and this and this. They've not done anything this season that I can think of. Even with Brennan's father being killed, that was more his story wrapping up than it was actually moving something along with Brennan. So, I just I hate the fact that they decided to focus on something besides their main characters for the season, and it's truly just ruined this entire season. So, those are my thoughts on it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. What did you hate and not like about this episode? Let me know. We can talk about it and discuss all the good stuff. Leave a like and subscribe for future Bones reviews, and I'll see you at the next one. Peace out.